In the previous episodes of Life is Strange. Whoa! called film Little Pieces of Time. Because Max wants everybody to see I'm how so sick is. of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. You're my business now. That's and Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please, get me out of here! Max! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. What are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Coffee, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving. I still can't stop thinking about Kate. It's like I'm awake in a bad dream. Kate, I swear I will use all of my power to find out who really pushed you off that roof. Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting tragedy. Now Kate's family has to see their daughter's death all over the web like a cat video. And I'm even in this one. Oh, that makes me ill. Hmm. Huh. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. I shouldn't sound so disappointed. This is such a moving piece of cut-and-paste Blackwell bullshit. Nobody here had Kate's back. Too little, too late. Yes, now everybody loves Kate Marsh. They bullied her and now post their feels? Hypocrites. Either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days.
Everybody will be talking about Kate now. Blackwell might as well shut down for the next month. There's been so much going on, I almost forgot about the eclipse. All this atmospheric action can't be a coincidence. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. Come on, Max. No more tears. You have to act, not react. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... I hope Kate finally has her wings now. a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. So much hypocrite. This is my prayer for you, Kate. Bless your gentle soul. God, that's like some awful TV crime scene in our dorm. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? I just can't stop thinking about Kate. And if this is my fault, too. I knew she was depressed, but I had no idea how bad. Must be serious to throw yourself off the roof. So why do you think she was on the roof in the first place? Maybe Kate was so ashamed she got wasted on that video. I don't blame her, but it was pretty gross. Come on, you really believe that Kate Marsh wanted to get drunk at a Vortex Club party? So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell, and I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Hey, Dana. I just can't... I think we're all responsible for what happened. Not you, Max. You were close to her. It doesn't matter now. Kate's dead. Tell that to Victoria and the Vortex Club. Dana, there's more to this than just Victoria and the Vortex Club being mean. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Victor- Not me. Aw, Trevor is a sweetie. Good for Dana. If Dana talks to Juliet about this, she's gonna wish she didn't. This is both sad and pathetic. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into the- oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit.
Since I've crossed the line from Snoop to Detective, I might as well search for clues about what- These socks cost more than my wardrobe. I'll title this one, Portrait de la Assholes. Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. Victoria is about as straight as me. But she really appreciates style. A unique point of view is right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. Well, well. Maybe Victoria isn't a monster after all. This is like a thread for sociopaths. Max Crackfield? Lame. Party on, dudes. That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. Victoria's secret, she's a geek. That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. Nothing to see here. I guess I shouldn't be so bummed. Not that Victoria couldn't hide her shit. Man, I'm getting paranoid. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. Jesus. I still can't believe she jumped. What the hell am I doing out here? Kate is dead and I'm sneaking around. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. Look at me. Feeling sorry for myself when Kate Marsh's family is in mourning. They'll probably sue the Academy right out of Oregon. Now I understand why the students call this place Black Hell. Miss Caulfield, you have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I'm still upset about Kate. I needed some air and space to walk. I'm sorry you had to go through that today. You tried to help, but God damn it, Blackwell is my responsibility. And I, I let her and Kate down. Go on back inside, get some rest. It's been a shitty day. Good night, Max. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? Come on, just try it. Oh, great. He's so 
Max the Ninja strikes again. Get it? Boo, yeah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. Well, like a scary and sensitive asshole. Chloe, I watched my friend jump off a roof today. I don't think you need to prank me tonight. You always trip out on me for not being there for you, but is this how you're there for me? I'm... I'm sorry, Max. I, I wasn't even thinking. I suck. I'm not trying to be a bitch, but... I'll never get the image out of my head of Kate jumping off that roof. All because my power didn't work. <laughs> it didn't mean shit. I know seeing Kate fall was horrible. I don't even know how to deal with that, so I just... act like an idiot. But it's your badass power that's gonna bring all this to a close. We just need to connect the players. And find out who really killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh right, except for your ability to... Oh yeah, manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? Right. For one thing, there's too much coincidence between the people around Kate and Rachel. Like Step Prick and Nathan Prescott? Not just them. Yep. I just want to beat the shit out of those particular bros. I can still feel David's hand on my face. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Kicking it in Los Angeles? That would be the best case scenario. She wouldn't leave without me, okay? And how often do missing girls turn up? We have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted, as you know. It's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I imagine uh, you're pretty upset over Kate as well. I'm like still in shock. I've never seen anybody die. I really cared about Katie. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. 
As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Are you fucking kidding me? So stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. You can always let me get busted like you did with the weed. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? I can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. Tell that to Kate. Come on. One more door and our work here is done. <laughs> 